Hello, I'm very happy to have you here for one more lesson of English with the series Follow Me. Follow Me, uma série da BBC de Londres e você já está chegando na lição 28. Olha só que coisa boa, lesson 28. Lesson 28. Lesson 28. Você vai aprender aqui Algumas expressões importantes para melhorar seu inglês, para ter aquele inglês que é um cartão de visitas. Vamos lá? Did you enjoy the game? Not bad. Sullivan was good. Yes, he's always good. But the game last week was better. Yes, I enjoyed last week's game. Hello. Come in, the door's open. Hello, Brian. Hello, Francis. What are you doing? I'm making a bookcase. I like books. I like buying books, and I enjoy reading them. But I don't want to buy a bookcase. Why not? Bookcases are expensive. And I enjoy making things, so I'm making a bookcase. Well, I'm playing tennis this afternoon. <coughs> Would you like to play? No, thanks. Not this afternoon. It's too cold, and I'm busy. I'm making this bookcase. You never play tennis. Yes, I do. I sometimes play, but I prefer watching it. Ah, I like tennis. I like tennis. I like playing tennis. I like playing tennis. I enjoy playing tennis. I enjoy playing tennis. I enjoy watching tennis. I enjoy watching tennis. And I enjoy making things, like this bookcase. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll start again. Olha só, você aprendeu muita coisa nesse trechinho. Vou colocar no quadro para você. A palavra enjoy, que agora em português tem uma muito parecida. I enjoy, quer dizer, eu curto. É, é gíria para nós, né? I enjoy, eu gosto, eu aproveito, eu amo, eu adoro. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Let's repeat. I enjoy it. Repeat. I enjoy it, quer dizer, eu gosto disso, all right? A segunda frase, I enjoy reading books, to read, ler, to read, 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 I enjoy reading books, but I don't want, I don't want to buy a bookcase. What is a bookcase? A bookcase é, é um conjunto de prateleiras, uma estante, uma estante. I enjoy reading books. Repeat. I enjoy reading books. Come on. I enjoy reading books. Very good. But I don't want. Mas eu não quero. But I don't want. Come on. But I don't want. Não quero o quê? To buy a bookcase. Comprar uma estante. To buy a bookcase. Repeat. To buy a bookcase. Case. Very good. I enjoy reading books, but I don't want to buy a bookcase. I enjoy making things. 
to make, fazer, principalmente fazer com as mãos, making things, I enjoy making things, o que são things? São coisas, I enjoy making things, repeat, I enjoy making things, good, mais uma frase de hoje, You never play tennis. Você viu ela falando? You never play tennis. Ela disse you, né? You never play tennis. Você nunca joga tênis. Play é tocar, mas também é jogar. You never play tennis. Repeat. You never play tennis. Very good. Vamos continuando com mais um trechinho da série... Follow me. Does your wife play squash? Not often. She prefers tennis. Yes. My wife enjoys tennis too. Well, let's all play tennis next week. Are you enjoying the meal? Yes, thank you. It's very good. Did you like the soup? Yes, very much. And the wine is very nice, not too sweet. Winning, Brian or Peter? Brian's winning. He usually wins. He's good at tennis. Peter isn't. Look! Thanks, Beryl. Peter plays well sometimes. Mm, he isn't playing well today. He's playing very badly. Oh. Where's Francis? He's at home. He doesn't like playing tennis. He enjoys watching. He often comes here and watches. And sometimes he plays tennis too. He played against Brian last week. Did Brian win? Yes, he did. Francis isn't good at tennis, I'm afraid. Yes, Peter's better than Francis. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Why do you always win? Because I'm better than you are, Peter. But did you enjoy the game? Not much. Why not? Because you played well, and I played badly. <laughs> and I don't enjoy playing badly. <laughs> Hello. 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 Brian played well. Brian played well. Brian is good at tennis. Peter isn't good at tennis. Peter isn't good at tennis. Brian played better than Peter. Brian played better than Peter. Anne, what happened to your arm? I broke it in a game of hockey. Who did it? Susan. And what did you do? I broke Susan's leg. You broke her leg? Yes. <laughs> Yay. Do you play tennis? Do you win? Are you a winner? Vamos ver no quadro? Who's winning? Quem está ganhando? Who is winning? The verb to win. Who's winning? Who's winning? Quem está vencendo? Come on, repeat. Who's winning? Again. Who's winning? Good. He usually wins. He usually wins. Wins. Aqui um S. Usually. Usualmente, he usually wins. Repeat, he usually wins. Come on, he usually wins. Good. He can play well. He can play well sometimes. Outra palavra aqui de frequência. Você viu aqui, usually, que é usualmente. E aqui, sometimes, às vezes. São palavras de frequência. He can play well sometimes. Come on, repeat. He can play well sometimes. Good. Francis. Você se lembra quem é Francis? Francis é o nosso personagem principal, aquele do follow me. Francis isn't good. Não é bom. Não é como pessoa, mas bom em alguma coisa. He isn't good at tennis. Veja a expressão. To be good at, 
ser bom para alguma coisa. Eu sou bom nisso. Francis isn't good at tennis. Repeat. Francis isn't good at tennis. Very good. Aí vem uma expressão muito usada. I'm afraid. Temo dizer isso. Eu acho e eu sinto muito. I'm afraid. Repeat. I'm afraid. Now the, the complete sentence. Francis isn't good at tennis, I'm afraid. Repeat. Francis isn't good at tennis, I'm afraid. Very good. Why do you always win? Always. Outra palavra de frequência. Why do you always win? Repeat. Why do you always win? Because I'm better than you. Uma razão muito óbvia. Better, melhor, than you, do que você. Because I'm better than you. Repeat. Because I'm better than you. And you are better and better every day with your English. Follow me. Did you have a good holiday? Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Did you enjoy yours? Oh, it wasn't bad, but I didn't like Edinburgh. Why not? It was too cold and it rained every day. Thank you. Are you enjoying the program, dear? Not much. It's not very good. I'm waiting for the football. It will start in two minutes. Football? Well, you'll enjoy that. I think I'll read my book. Would you give me another book? Are you hungry? Yes. I'd like a sandwich, please. I'd like a big cheese and tomato sandwich. And some beer. Shall I cook dinner? No, I'll cook dinner later. I enjoy cooking. I'm good at it. And I enjoy eating, too. Here you are. Here's your beer and your cheese and tomato sandwich. Olha só, esses marceneiros domésticos são desse jeitinho aí. Eu deixei algumas frases para você no quadro. Vamos repetir? Veja só. Would you give me? Would you give me another book? Would you give me another book? Would you? É pedindo, mas com muita gentileza. Would you, em vez de will you? Would you give me another book? Repeat. Would you give me another book? Good. Another, você sabe o que é? Um outro, um outro livro. E aqui, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Você está com fome? Are you hungry? Repeat. Are you hungry? Good. Yes, I'd like a sandwich. Yes, a sandwich. I'd like a sandwich. I would like. I'd. I, I would like, ok? Yes, I'd like a sandwich. Repeat. Yes, I'd like a sandwich. Esse yes é lá do inglês com música. Please, por favor. Please, ok? Yes, I'd like a sandwich, please. Repeat. Yes, I'd like a sandwich, please. Good. I enjoy cooking. Cooking é cozinhar. I enjoy cooking. Eu gosto de cozinhar. I'm good at it. Sou boa nisso. I'm good at it. Come on, repeat. I enjoy cooking. I'm good at it. Very good. I enjoy eating too. I enjoy eating too. Vou colocar o I aqui na frente. I enjoy eating too. Repeat. I enjoy eating too. Very good. Dancing, para você trocar por eating. I enjoy dancing too. I enjoy dancing too. Mais uma para você trocar por eating. Speaking English, eu gosto de falar inglês também. I enjoy speaking English too. Repeat. I enjoy speaking English too. 
Very good. Podemos continuar? Nós temos mais um trechinho do Follow Me. Can I help you? No, dear. It's your birthday today, so I'll make the dinner. I want to cook dinner for you. But I'd like to do it. No, I want to make you an omelet. Would you like one with four eggs or five? Two eggs will be enough. But I don't like omelets very much. What do you want in your omelet? Cheese? Tomato? I'd like a plain omelet. Eggs and salt and pepper. But it's your birthday, and you'll enjoy my omelet. There. Cheese and tomato. Oh. Did I put salt and pepper in the omelet? It doesn't matter. It's too late now. The omelet is ready. Your omelet. I'll make another omelet. No, dear. Let's go to a restaurant. Would you enjoy eating an omelet like that? Repeat. Would you enjoy eating an omelet like that? Good. Então, vamos comer um omelete assistindo Follow Me. Well, did you enjoy the meal? Yes, it was very good. And it wasn't too expensive. Let's come here next week. Are you enjoying your dinner? Yes, it's very good. Is yours good? Yes, I like omelets very much. I was wrong. I don't enjoy making bookcases. No, you prefer watching television. Today, we have to make another commercial, and one which Mr. Grant will like. Didn't he like the one we made in Piccadilly Circus? No, he didn't like it at all. There were too many people and it was too noisy. Didn't he like the one in the museum? No, there were not enough people and it was too quiet. Well, what does he like? I don't know. Perhaps he doesn't know. He wants a commercial which will sell Fiasco. That's all? And today, we'll make it. And Grant will like it. I hope so. I hope so too. Grant will be there. He wants to watch us. É, o clima ficou meio tenso aqui no Follow Me. Vamos ver as frases que eu coloquei no quadro. I was wrong, I don't enjoy making bookcases. I was wrong, eu estava enganado. Repeat. I was wrong. Good. I don't enjoy making bookcases. Eu não gosto, eu não curto fazer estantes. Repeat. I don't enjoy making bookcases. Good. No, you prefer watching TV. Não, você prefere ver televisão. Repeat. No, you prefer watching TV. Good. Today we have to make another commercial. Hoje temos que fazer um outro comercial. Today we have to make another commercial. Repeat. Today we have to make another commercial. Good. Too many people. Gente demais. Repeat. Too many people. Too noisy. Barulhento demais. Repeat. Too noisy. Not enough people. Não tem gente suficiente. Repeat. Not enough people. Enough. Enough. Com F no final. Enough. Too quiet. Quieto demais. Come on. Too quiet. Repeat. Too quiet. Good. Thank you. Vamos continuando com mais um trechinho do Follow Me.
Good morning, Leonard. Good morning, Mr. Ryan. This is Helen Black, the fiasco girl. Hello. Hello. What's that boat? Uh, it's not a boat. It's a punt. Watch me. You'll be all right. Right. Get into the punt, Leonard. You can punt, can't you? Well, of course I can. I'm very good at it. I'm an expert. Good. Now, let's start. Now, Leonard, it's very hot. You're very hot. You want a drink, a cool drink. Now, Helen, give him some fiasco. this program we learned I like tennis I enjoy playing tennis Brian played well Brian is good at tennis Brian played better than Peter Now I'm making a boat. I enjoy making things. Goodbye. Olha só, agora eu quero fazer um convite a você. O que, que é uma festa? Não. Mais uma aula do Follow Me, lição 29. Você não pode perder. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>